Things are happening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel of Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you do well, mate. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily, and sometimes twice or thrice daily, twice in this instance, uh, series here on the channel where I reflect on what's being said about Chelsea, giving you my opinion on it. More importantly, asking for yours. Mm -mm -mm. Mark Cucurella, the player that many, 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 many people want, rate Man City want, but won't go over a certain price threshold that big boy Bowley will do. Oh, Chelsea could sign Mark Cucurella as well as a top tier centre back. Oh, Mark Cucurella, not necessarily got to displace Ben Chilwell, can be utilised as... A left centre back as well. Moving Koulibaly in the middle, maybe being a long term successor to Thiago Silva. The options are endless. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're feeling good, click like on the video. <coughs> Takes a second, less than a second, and it makes me feel good. You're welcome to subscribe. Should you choose to do so, what do you do? Sing it with me. You hit that sweet, sweet bell, baby. Let's get into it. Fabrizio Romano tweeting, Chelsea are pushing to hijack. Oh, I love that word. Don't get excited. Barcelona might be sniffing. Mark Cucurella deal. Direct talk today with Brighton. Levi Colwell could be part of the negotiations, which of course will raise some collective eyebrows. Personal terms negotiation in the next hours. Chelsea are going to contact Cucurella and be like, join Chelsea. You might play some. You're going to get paid a lot. What you saying, fam? Man City, who have been chasing him, will not improve last bid, which was £40 million and rejected by Brighton. Mm. We're going to read the report on the, the Athletic in just a moment. Exclusive! Not just Cucurella, says Fabrizio Romana. Romana? Romana. Romane. Chelsea had a direct meeting. <laughs> I love that. A direct meeting. Look, this, isn't any, just, this just isn't any meeting. This is going to be direct. Direct meeting. So they had a direct meeting with RB Leipzig on Sunday. That's yesterday. To discuss swap deal ideas. Big boy Bowley trying to do trades. Bringing trades into soccer. Why not? It works in America. Can work here. Apologies to all my American compadres out there. Uh, Bowley's ready to let Timo Werner leave on loan. Um, yes. Chelsea have asked again for Giavidiol. Top list of negotiate on the top. I oh, can't speak. They're the, he, they want him. He's a centre back. He's top of the list. Alongside Wes Fofana. More on him in a moment. Leipzig insist they want to keep him the same way Brendan Rodgers insists Leicester want to keep Fofana, but the same way he insisted Chelsea want Leicester wanted to keep Chilwell. What happened? Let's read the report coming from The Athletic. From David Ornstein, three hours ago, Chelsea are in talks to sign Mark Cucurella from Brighton. Uh, the Athletic understands. Uh, Cucurella, 24, was also a target for the reigning Premier League champions, Man City. However, they reported last week, The Athletic, that Brighton ended conversations with City and they would not entertain their offer. Cucurella has handed in a transfer request on Friday, though it is understood that it did not change Brighton's stance. They want to fee upwards of 50 million pounds well yeah i get it you sell ben white for 50 million pounds man city got a player that you've got a player that man city won he's gonna cost a lot of peas chelsea are working to overhaul their defense before the summer transfer window closes on september the 1st they are also working on deals to sign wes for final from leicester and of course denzel dumfries from inter milan you can get mark cucurella left wing back cover denzel dumfries right wing back cover look many of you guys going why are we spending money there and there but when you need the cover baby girl that's good cover Leicester are believed to value the centre back for Fana in the figure of 80 million pounds but Chelsea hope that that could be lowered by offering players to their top flight counterparts and boy oh boy oh boy Chelsea have players they have players up to their rivals Inter, meanwhile, need to raise money this summer, particularly after talks with Paris Saint-Germain for Milan Skriniar has stalled because of their price demands. And Chelsea's admiration for the right wing back is strong. Ooh, la, 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 la. We are going to look at Cucurella's stats in a moment, and it's uh, very exciting. Ben Jacobs, at Jacobs Ben on Twitter, seemingly well-informed gentleman, apart from the uh, Kunde deal getting wrong, but many a man damn got that wrong. Bit more intel on Fafana. Ooh, we like that. 
Chelsea and Leicester are close to £20 million apart on initial valuation, which sounds like a lot. That is a lot. But considering they want 80, that's kind of like it's suggesting Chelsea have like already paid, uh, offered 60 or something, which is crazy. So they're £20 million apart currently from the initial valuation. Chelsea are prepared to go up. Ding, 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 ding. Further talks this week. Paris Saint-Germain have also inquired for Wesley Fofana. Of course, he's a young Frenchman. They value Fofana at just under £55 million pounds all in. That won't be enough or even close. Nah, -uh, girlfriend. Chelsea looked at Fofana in January and the last summer with a view to future windows. Back then, they thought £45 million euros, well, pounds, excuse me, with add-ons might be acceptable. But Fofana has signed a new deal in March. Leicester really don't want to sell... Yeah, protecting investment, new contract, long length. That's what screws up the buying club. Also understand, when Fofana signed a new deal, he was told Leicester would listen to fair offers in 2023. Leicester prefer to consider a sale next summer. Chelsea are hoping Fofana's openness to a move may see Leicester soften a little on price. Not impossible, but a very challenging negotiation. And that's why uh, Chelsea are also trying to talk about Joshko Gavidol. 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 Sky Sports News are reporting. Chelsea are ready to pay Cucurella's asking price of £50 million. Oh, they're ready. They're ready. I can't. These are liners, man. My teeth. Uh, they're like, yeah, we'll pay it. You know what? City don't want to pay it? That's cool. You do you, baby. We'll pay it. We'll pay it. Come to Chelsea. Yeah, Man City seems alluring. Who wants to win Premier League titles when you can win? Super Cups and Club World Cups. Should we look at some stats? Alright, so. The youngish Spanish fullback defender can play at both left centre back in the back three and left wing back. This is his stats. Versus fullbacks. He's really good at passes under pressure, which you need. I can't stress, stress this enough. Which you really need in the Thomas Tuchel or any high-profile, high-pressure side. He's really good at successful pressure percentage. Ah, ball recoveries. This is the kind of jam that Thomas Tuchel loves to spread on his toast. Shot saved. Sweet, he's a goalkeeper. Tackles, middle third, good. Successful pressures. Percentage of dribbles, tackles. Nutmegs! He's good at nutmegs! Touches in the attacking third, low passes. To be honest, the more I read through, I hadn't actually read through this until um, I'm reading it through you guys now. All those metrics, ladies and gentlemen, are suitable to Thomas Tuchel's football. Now, this next one, take with a pinch of salt because I'm gonna com I've been comparing... This is compared to centre-back because he can play as a centre-back. I think he has on a couple of occasions for Brighton play as a centre-back. Bearing in mind, he's generally played as a wing back, so these stats are skewed. Boom! Look at this! Look at this! Look at the 99th percentiles versus centre backs. Yes, yes, it's not an honest reflection because he's largely playing as wing backs versus a centre back, so there's going to be metrics that he's top for. Like expected assists, passes completed, key passes, passes. Look, look, just look for yourself. Yum, yum. <laughs> We just want to see green on FB ref, right? That's all you want to see. Uh, and that's very nice. Very, very nice. Boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. Chelsea are active. They are very active in the background. This is what we needed. Todd Bowley not becoming st stagnant. We look, Tuchel's clearly a good coach. He can see that. He can see there was many a problem for, che for him to clean up at Chelsea. He knows he needs defenders. That's one recurring theme, recurring narrative. You need to now. You just need the numbers. You need top, top numbers. This is not bring a couple in, this, that, and the other. You need top numbers. Yes, people are worried about the Levi Colwell situation. Are we going to flog him? Again, I'll reiterate, I'd love to see him included in the squad. If he's not, I'd love to see him in loan. If he's not, if he has to be sold, I'd love to see a buyback clause. If he's just straight up sold with no buyback clause, I would genuinely be frustrated. But it is what it is. We'll see what happens. I am a massive fan of Wesley Fofana. I've been a fan of Wesley Fofana, you know, uh, for ever since he broke into I was bought him from Saint Etienne. Then watched him in the Premier League. I think he's been sensational. I'd love Colwell to be a success story and excellent in the Premier League for Chelsea. And by all accounts, maybe he could be. But what I know is Fofana is very good, and he's proven at that top level. Therefore, I'd love him in my team. It's just a player I've loved to watch and enjoyed there. 
I'm incredibly excited. Of course, Giavadol would offer would represent a massive blockbuster centre back signing as well. We've looked at his stats, his scouring report before. He's a very good ball carrier. Um, you know, many many of you would, would like that centre back from uh, Leipzig, the Croatian centre back. So we'd all get excited about him. Regardless, you know, if we got Dem Dumfries and Cucurella as you know wing back, wide centre back cover, that would be very exciting and that would be very agreeable. I think. But what do you think? Let me know. Comment down below. Thank you for dropping a like on the video. Remember, news is popping off real quick all the time. So make sure when you subscribe, you hit that sweet, sweet bell, baby. Mate, I look forward to seeing you very soon. Peace.